Good morning to you. Oh, something on the lens. Hang on. Oh, that's a bit better. Uh, no, guys, this isn't one of those incredibly amazing filters. There's just my real face. I'm just my real face. Good morning to you. It's Friday morning and we have a lot going on today. So I thought that I would take you along for a little day in the life. I know that you like homey vlogs. So this is going to be uh, a lot homey, a bit worky, some chatty. Uh, we have exciting delivery today coming for our... Jardin. Uh, yes, we're having a trampoline delivered today. I'm so excited. Here's the short version of the long story of how we have come to have a trampoline. First things first, I'm the realist. Second thing second, we had an old trampoline in my old house. That like little circle one. Um, and it was just me and Darcy and she used it a bit and then never really used it very much because we never really used the garden very much. I wasn't very good at keeping on top of it. Um, back when it was just like the Louise and Darcy team, I was terrible at it. Um, because as well, at that time, she was an only child. She wasn't going to like tootle off all the way down the jungle of the garden just to go and play by herself. Um, and so when we moved in here, this was before Pearl came along, I was like, well, we're not going to have a trampoline. Also, the garden we have now, when you look out the window, you can see the whole garden. There's nowhere to hide in it. So anything you put in that garden, you're gonna see as part of the garden. And I'd always thought trampolines are pretty bulky bits of kit, and I think it might ruin the aesthetic of the garden. So that was another no. Then I had Pearl, and Pearl is like chalk and cheese to Darcy. Darcy is like very chilled out, very placid, very happy to like go with the flow. Pearly is very energetic, and that's putting it lightly. She's like our little whirlwind, our pearly whirly whirlwind. Um, and so she needs to burn off energy. So that swayed us to think maybe a trampoline would be a great idea. Then I saw Emily Norris bought an amazing trampoline that was like a super, super safe one. And that was another thing that made me think like, mm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what to do. She bought a spring-free trampoline and I thought, will she just use that a couple of times and then it will just become this big thing in her garden? And no, she shows it all the time. And I thought, is that just, you know, hashtag content, hashtag influencer, messaged her her boys love it and i was like you know i think darcy and pearl would really enjoy it now that they go out in the garden all the time especially the time we're in at the moment and pearl has so much energy and darcy loves to play with pearl and when we can we'll be having lots of friends around and my nephew and niece around all the time so long story short i ordered a trampoline now you might be thinking one of two things what one of two things you might be thinking why didn't you get one embedded into the grass liam doesn't want to do that he really loves the grass like He's a grass enthusiast. <laughs> That's made him sound a bit dodgy. I mean like the lawn <laughs> enthusiast. And number two, what was the other thing? Why didn't we buy a small one? Uh, I just think if you're gonna if you're gonna get a trampoline, go big or go home. And I want to be able to have my nephew and niece on it with my girls or friends or whatever. Again, when we're allowed people in the garden, which is not very long. I think at the time you're watching this, it will be just a day, won't it? <laughs> um, so <laughs> I ordered a trampoline. It's coming today. Uh, for transparency, I did get a discount, but but I also got you a discount. So for every order, you will get £50 off. Um, I will put all the details of that below for you. I think it's for a limited time only. So if you're watching this video in like five years time, I don't know, I mean, try the code at the checkout if you can. Um, but that's great, I got a discount, you get a discount. Uh, that is coming soon, I'm excited. I'm going to frame it as like an early birthday present for Darcy because she is going to be 10 in a couple of weeks. How crazy is that? 10, can't believe it. Um, anyway, that's the intro bit of the trampoline arriving. So basically now we just await its arrival. I've got some work things to do today as well. Um, I'm gonna pack my bag for that now. I'm gonna pack this, this is the lipstick I'm wearing today. This is NARS and it's in the shade Chaser. Yesterday, I wore a NARS lipstick and I was like, oh, I'll just tell everybody the shade of it, you know what the shade was called? Shag. Who comes up with these names? If you're following along on um, Instagram, you might know that we had our bed here for a while. We've got this really attractive plastic door here. Um, on my home account, we've found home, I've got all this information, but uh, we have been having a renovation in our bathroom. Um, so everywhere's got plastic sheeting on the floor. Our furniture, there's Nat here. Um, we just moved our bed back into our bedroom a couple of nights ago because they had finished doing all the like 
super, super dusty work, but do you want to have a look at the bathroom in its current state? You might remember it used to have all the brown tiles. And now, oh my God, look at it. It is white marble, white and gray marble. We've got a really tall storage unit here for all our lotions and potions in there. And then the loo. Wouldn't normally keep it up, but we've literally not used it yet. So <laughs> brand new, fresh loo. This mirror, I ordered this on Wayfarer. Um, and it was actually really good. It was a one day delivery. And then the unit here. Just a few things to finish off. We need like knobs in the unit. Um, we're having some wall lights installed, but they're not gonna come for a little while. Um, that little thing needs to be installed up there. Look at this shower, will you please? It's all going to be cleaned up and stuff before we use it. Look at the towel rail. Ooh. <laughs> and then this will all light up in here so I can highlight all my uh, shower gels and things. But yeah, I mean, it's not even finished yet and I think it looks sensational, don't you? <laughs> Whilst I'm on the bathroom chat, I had it done by a company called Vanquish Bathrooms. Not gifted, not PR, not any of that, just, you know, went into the showroom, I was like, well, that's our bathroom. They did our other bathroom as well. They're Northampton based and they are amazing. So just a little shout out for a local business. If you are in Northampton and looking for a bathroom, I can't recommend Lee from uh, Vanquish Bathrooms enough. Eee! Guess what's just arrived? The trampoline man with the trampoline van. <laughs> what has just arrived? The big trampoline. The big trampoline, is it getting set up? What are you gonna do on the trampoline? Bounce. Bounce, who are you gonna bounce with? Darcy. Yeah, that'll be so nice, won't it? Yeah. Uh, when she gets back from school. taken no time at all. This is the company I'll show you. Spring free. I'll link it all below. We're going to have a little bounce. <laughs> wow! Look at that pony! Go out and see daddy. Ooh, look! It's nearly ready. to hear the building work has started upstairs it's just gone nine so i'm gonna get myself packed up and get to the office okie dokie we are at the office just get myself set up i've got my little system when i get in come in put my bag down put the lights on draw the blinds oh that's nice sometimes i like to put this little one on Ta-da! Would you like a little tour of my office i'm going to assume that you all shouted yes you'd like a tour so there's the door 
the fridge, it's not a big office, <laughs> my desk, then we have uh, this lovely fireplace, look I've got all my golden play buttons, some achievements and some fairy lights and such, such, such and such, such and such, and then we have another desk just here, the window, oh some boxes, something exciting coming up with those, some storage, this we call reception, <laughs> and then you're back at the door. And as you can see, it's quite easy for me to socially distance in here because it's literally just me <laughs> on my own. Um, at home today, there are three electricians um, doing stuff in the bathroom. Um, so it was very loud and quite busy. So I thought I'll come here because I've got some calls to do today and I thought uh, you might like to be involved in those. And by involved, I mean not really involved at all because for you this will be the past. Um, but I'm going to film it anyway, so I've got some hashtag content. Oh, what a flattering angle that is just there. Um, so when I hired this office in August, I one I thought that we were coming out of all the restrictions that we'd had with the pandemic and that like life would start picking up and getting back to normal lol that's not quite been the case and i thought i would use this office um a lot more socially i thought that i would have like local creative friends come and work here um i thought i would work here with my team a lot um but as you all know it's not really been the case and we do a lot digitally and virtually but it's nice to have a space to come that's really quiet so that when I do calls or filming or whatever um, I can do that and if things are um, if there's too many people in my house then it's easy for me to just leave and get out of everyone's hair um, so yeah it's been really nice to have it but I'm looking forward to like having a full office having a full team the team has changed slightly in the last few months um, we can talk about that in another video because I'm aware that I'm already waffling too much. Perhaps I'll do like a whole video on like the team and who's in it and what our plans are for etc etc. Um, but for now I've got a call with the BBC. Did you know I'm a tiny happy people ambassador? Um, I'll put the link to their Instagram below. It's really good. There's lots of resources. It's a great like parenting thing. Um, so I do a bit of work for them. So I've got a call with them and then I'm having a call about Grazia magazine. Um, I don't know if you know this, I think oldie but goldies will know this, but part of the stuff that I do with my life is I do a bit of freelance writing. I used to have a column in Mother and Baby magazine. In fact, I might have some Mother and Baby magazines in the cupboard over here. Um, I've got like a, yes, look. <laughs> this is my cupboard of things I've been featured in. Here's a Mother and Baby magazine. There we go. A bad day doesn't make you a bad mum. No, it does not. Look at Pearly. So teeny tiny. Um, yeah, so I used to write for them. But sadly, Mother and Baby magazine is no more in print. Um, because of the way the industry's gone. They're a magazine. Uh, they just do it all online and stuff. So that the column has ended. And I was doing a bit of freelance writing. And I did an article, wrote an article, did an article, yeah, what a great writer I must be, uh, wrote an article for Grazia magazine about um, my family being blended, not broken, because often when you come from a divorce home, uh, people used to call it broken, and I want to sort of change that and be a bit more blended. Anyway, I'm going to have a call about writing more for them, which would be amazing. I would love to have a regular slot writing for them. Um, about all the issues that I'm passionate about and whatnot, so that's what I'm gonna do today. All right. Hello. Where's my Why can't you see me? Why does technology fail me this way? Can you see me now? Hey, I'm vlogging this as well, the irony. <laughs> I've lost the call. FML. Try yet. Um, <laughs> first order of business. Numeral. Oh, first things first, I'm the realist, but second thing second. Can I talk about Grazia in my vlog and how I've been doing some freelance for them and I'd love to be doing more because if I'm honest, I already have talked about it. Yes, 
As quick. As you say, um, Grazia and the Juggle, which is their new parenting. I have not said that. It's Grazia and the Juggle, their new parenting platform. a little chat because um we're quite similar minded aren't we in terms of like on a business level i think so yeah. we're gonna have a chat about a few exciting things um which unfortunately you can't listen to but all in good time we've finished up our chat we've been chatting for we've been on for like an hour but time flies when you're having fun um emily has the same trampoline as me you were the person that influenced me to get i was like well if emily's got one I've got to get one. Um, tell me the hack that you just told me that your trampoline hack. No, I was just saying it's it's like the best thing we've ever bought for the boys. And a really good hack is that it's so good for your fitness as well. I go on it probably every day. If I've ever like not done enough steps, I just get on the trampoline for a few minutes with the boys, and then like instantly you'll have done a thousand steps. Yes. So it's brilliant for you as well. I'm going to give that a go because, as you know, Emily, I'm a fit fluencer now. Um, I know you are. Yeah, world renowned fit fluencer. So great tip, thank you. Oh, another stunning angle. Um, I'm at the school at the moment, which is why you've got this very yummy angle. Um, I am about 10 minutes late for the school run, so I'm going to use this time to catch up on my Marco Polos with my lovely Marie in Seattle. I miss her so much. I was meant to go and see her last year, um, but obviously, with Pammy D, I did not get to go and see her, so hopefully we'll reschedule that soon. Um, but yeah, I'm going to pick up Darcy, and then I want to surprise her with this trampoline. However, it is grey skies, and it's it rained all the way over here. It's just stopped raining, raining, raining. So, hmm, it's not ideal. Surprise, trampoline weather. <laughs> and we were thinking about getting the screen out tonight. Liam's got this like pop-up outside screen and doing a film, but it's really windy, so we might have to move that indoors. Whatever we do, it will still be nice. But you know, I was like, hmm. Well, this has thrown a spanner in my works, as it were. Uh, but we are ordering pizza tonight, and I've been looking forward to this all week, so that's good. So back from the school run now, and Darcy doesn't know that we have the trampoline. So I'm going to surprise her with that now. I look so good, I've put some balloons on it. I'll show you. There it is. <laughs> look at the size of our old one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! You don't need shoes. That's okay. But it's going to be wet on the trampoline anyway. What do you think? <gasps> what do you think? <laughs> it's an early birthday present, my love. I love it! I was really suspicious. Were you? Yes, you were like, oh, we're going to do some activities. I'm like, that's not like you. <laughs> it's not like mummy to do anything active. <laughs> Thank you. You're so welcome. Do you want to get on with her? No. Why not? We have the tiny, tiny trampoline. Is it too bouncy? And then this giant trampoline. Let her have a few big bounces, then you can go on with her. Wow. Woo! <laughs> it's pretty good. Do you want to come on, mummy, come on with you. I've been given instructions that we're not allowed to bounce, are we, Doodles? I know, she's really good at jumping. Because <laughs> we've got this one bouncing us. It's very relaxing, look. We could get blankets out. Oh, yeah, because like, in the night, we could put over. blankets on. And it's like it's like a mattress, and we could do this. That would be nice. And we could do that tonight. Maybe we could have a movie night. It's a bit cold tonight, my love. It's freezing. OK. <laughs> What's Darcy gone to get? Coat. It's because it's cold, isn't it? 
It's cold. Oh, that's us. Ready? Ready? Wow. It's so cold, isn't it? Just snuggle. Can you bounce me? Perhaps if you jump up and down, you'll get warm. Right, you bounce around me. Whoa. I'm bouncing. That's very bouncy. Whoa. Oh. I got yucky feet too. Yeah, got yucky on my feet. That's the string from my top. Go on then. Woohoo! Well done. Well done. I look really cold. You look cold. Do you feel cold? Yeah, because I want a blanket. Do you want to go inside? I want a blanket on me. <laughs> well, I think if we bounce around, we'll get warmed up. If we do some exercise, look, we can walk. We can hold hands. Why don't we do some running? Like the Should we hold hands? Oh, uh, yeah. Running, okay, that's a good idea. And then turn around, run back. <laughs> I'm falling, <laughs> I'm slipping. <laughs> right, ready? So you hold on to, to ah, Pearl's ah, hand. Ah. Pearl, come here, hold on to Sissy's hand. No, don't. Okay, don't just bounce. us. Ready, ah, steady. Only mine can. Only you can. Oh. Light. Look, I'll do this. No. It's going to be a lot of, no. lot of fun, a lot of parenting no, and sharing and learning to I be had. Like Sit down like then. This. Are you ready? Oh, Are you awesome. steady? Ready? Steady? Oh. 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 Come into the middle a bit more, I think. <laughs> Come up to finish my emails, but I can't concentrate because look, too much fun going on out there. <laughs> Got that all on camera, babe. <laughs> Hi there. Plot twist. It's the next day. <sighs> deep breaths, deep breaths. I um, filmed the evening, however, at the end of the last clip you saw, I swapped the memory cards because that one was full. And I thought, no worries, I've got a spare one right here. Now, I want you to take a close look at this. I'm gonna get out of the shot so that it will actually focus. So this is the memory card that has the evening on it. I don't know if you can tell, but it's broken just on the edge there. So it picks up absolutely fine in the camera and the camera can record on it. Um, but when I went to put it in my laptop, it would not recognize it. Now I have just spent an hour, an hour or so, trying everything to get it off. I've tried to hook this camera up to the Wi-Fi so that I can transfer it, I had to register with Canon, I had to do all that sort of stuff, and then it only sent the photos that I've got on this um, camera and not the footage. I've tried plugging wires into it, but all wires seem to do is charge it. I've gone through all the wires that we have, wondering if I've got the right knob for the hole to make it work in the other hole that it's got, but I don't have that wire. Um, so in the end, I just thought honesty is the best policy. And what's happened is um, I've effed it up a little bit. All that you missed was we ordered pizza. I did a slow-mo on the pizza going, oh, what's your favorite pizza topping? So do tell me below if you're still listening at this point of the video. Um, then we snuggled up and Pearl went to bed and Darcy, Liam and I watched Iron Man um, because Darcy's seen all the Marvel films like her um, on her dad's side they're like they love the Marvel things and I haven't really watched any of them but I started to get in the mood so Darcy had already seen it but she wanted to watch it again so I said okay um, and then I said what a lovely day it had been loved the trampoline loved going to work hope you love the vlog the end <sighs> but I'm a bit annoyed because feels like I'm annoyed about this um so I'm ending the vlog like this. Just a shell of a woman, just haggard woman with hair like this uh, and like a bit of chocolate on my t-shirt. Uh, but it's 10 o'clock on Saturday night and I would like to get this up in the morning and I would like to go and have a bath now. So love you dearly. <laughs> Please leave a friendly comment and I'll see you next week at 9am for another highly produced video that I'm sure will add just so much value to your life. <laughs> Love you. Bye.